you see a central platform in the middle of this giant chamber that rises up about 15 feet, about 10, 15 feet, and just cresting over the top of this platform is the edge of an alabaster snout with teeth kind of overlapping, and you hear this, this growling snarl, and this little voice kind of spills out from underneath and says, why don't you enter? If you're going to arrive and present yourselves, do not cower yet. It is now Rhyme Fang's turn. Rhyme Fang turns. And lets out a spray of icy damage out in this direction. Are you unconscious too? No, I'm not. Okay. Dang. I have a reaction. That was our first hit. I have a reaction. Sure okay, go ahead. And I do. It. I use Hellish Rebuke. Oh. Oh. What is that? Okay. That sounds hellish. I know. It sounds Rebuke. aggressive. Rebuke. One per Very day. Rebuke. So. All right, so a point of the creature must make a dexterity saving throw. So it does back to him? Yes. Oh my god, you can kill it just because it attacked you? Come on, come on. Kill it out of spite. Oh, come on. Tell him he's very ugly. Nine. Nine points of fire damage? How do you want to do this? No! Finish this dragon with your hellish rebuke. How do you? Where does it, where does it hit? Make it good. Make it good. Where does it After hit? It How does it blast you with ice damage? You, you, watch, you watch the wizard frozen in place. You see Percy unconscious and bleeding on the ground. Uh, you see Vex on the ground about to fall unconscious. Your friends are lost in the darkness around you, and suddenly you feel that that tiefling surge of anger within you, and you. Almost completely turn into flame as I walk towards it. Can I use anything? Can no, I you have to use that. You want the hellish Just rebuke to me. How do you want this? I want this hellish rebuke to me levitating in the air and using my dragon, dark dragon stuff <laughs> to blast it. Uh, from here down, just <laughs> eviscerating everything from the bowels down with All hellish right. fire. So, as, <laughs> as, as, after the frost cakes in the front of you and there is ice caked against the front of your armor, you suddenly look up at it and as your eyes flare with flame and the ice evaporates from the sheer heat that your body's emanating. You take a step forward, but the step itself is about an inch off the ground. A second step, you're two inches off the ground and with each progressive step, you're slowly floating in the air the warlock energy now swirling around you. The shadows are spinning around you and coalescing around your feet. As you look forward towards it, you see the portion of its armor that was blasted open earlier with its flesh and sinew is exposed. You take the staff forward, and with an angry snarl, you live one last blast of infernal energy, the hellish rebuke, then swoop, sinking into the side of its chest. As the inside of its flesh begins to spark and smoke, the dragon reaches out and grabs the side. It's beginning to try and bring its wings up to fly away, and as it does, a blast of infernal flame comes cascading out of its chest. You can see now all of its armor begins to peel back as its chest is blown open. Its eyes suddenly go from this this piercing blue white to a dull gray color. Yes. And it reaches out. No. It tumbles forward onto the ground next to Percy. Almost crushing his oh, oh, oh. Almost, almost. almost. It gets but not up. Slide, near takes two more steps forward. No. You can. Yes, I fucking can. Yeah! <laughs> and with that, Lion Fang falls dead to the It dies in this room. Do you hear me? You die in this room. Let's kill him. That is unfortunate. Oh, he just fucking tried to leave! Yeah, yeah. All right. He suddenly turns pink and says, Exit stage right in! <laughs> 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 he's just, <laughs> just gliding towards the doorway over everybody. Uh, us out of here. <laughs> that brings us to Vax's turn. And I'm throwing daggers at the back of his head. Throw daggers. Uh, yes, that is a 27. Yeah! yeah. In my head right now. Do we call that sneak attack? Uh, he did not see you stealth, actually. Uh, yeah, he did not roll line of perception, so you have sneak attack on him. It's the worst time <laughs> to be out <laughs> Druid needs booze, badly. 30. Damn it. 30 damage? 30 damage. <gasps> oh! To open doors. Nice. Yes, Ducker Ducker. How do you want to do this? <laughs> I see 
see him flying away. I'm just crouched down. I flip it over to so the blades of my hand. I don't go fast, I just take my time, pull back, throw it harder than I usually do. <laughs> Through its neck. Out the front. The dagger hits it in the back of the neck and this in the spine. It it doesn't quite cut through the spinal column. You see it comes out the back of the, the front of the throat. <laughs> the spell falters, <laughs> falls to the ground, <laughs> taking a serious impact fall and is now like <clears throat> dragging itself towards the exit of the room as you start walking up to collect your blade. <laughs> it brings up its hands and starts trying to cast the spell. Oh God. <laughs> And cause this big old pool of blood in the ground. Grab it by the ear and lift its head back. Talk about my sister again. <laughs> With a spray of crimson across the ground, this horrible sucking sound, you pull back the head as the life force of the Rakshasa comes spraying across the stone floor as you release it and leave it to the ground with the last bit of life left in its body as it, as it slowly flees its form. You hear this chuckle. Booted into the acid. No! No! Oh, the eyes! Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> the eyes! Damn it! The body tumbles you just... <laughs> into the acid. No! 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 As, as you were Kong? shouting it into the air, Kong. a few people oh, nearby kind of... the Star Trek reference is good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, people around you start glancing it back. Oh, uh, what? Yeah. <laughs> what is that? It's good. It's yeah, good. it works out fine. Okay. The short distance, while the speed is, is extreme, misjudge the distance and it stops an inch before your chest and you kind of look down at it, just oh, barely oh, stopping oh, before it finds your chest. <laughs> Looks up at you. <gasps> Come at me. <gasps> He just come at me, bro, you. Fuck it, I just reach, I just, uh, like, with desperation that this might fall away, I just throw my Goliath fist at him. All right, so first punch is with disadvantage. Is a 17. But plus, plus 10, plus 10, plus 10, plus 10, plus 10, 22! 22. <laughs> Roll damage. Come on. Eight! How do you want to do this? Ah! All right, peer ears, everyone. Sorry. Sorry. Clutch, clutch Scanlan inspiration. Grog, how do you want to do this? <laughs> As the fist connects and he starts to wobble, I reach over, I, I stand above him and grab around his waist from, with his back facing towards me. I lift him up over my head so that his head gets to come up and look at the crowd one last time before sending him straight back onto his shoulder blades and neck and smashing him into the eye. <laughs> With a resounding slam, Kern's body impacts into the stone floor of the crucible. A cloud of dirt and dust around. Rocks break off and tumble down the side of the walls of the crucible as the crowd has to stop himself from falling in from the sheer impact of the tremor that you've left slamming Kern. Uh, you can see everyone kind of fall silent. The crowd cheers all come to a sudden halt. The dust settles. As you can see, nothing at the base of the, of the crucible. As the cloud slowly comes to rest, you see there, broken and laid out on the ground, is an unconscious, bloodied and ruined Kern as Grog steps forward, head hunched beneath his billowing shoulders, fists clenched in anger, victorious in the center of the crucible. I put my foot on his chest and I'm my best King Kong go, 